love the self-love makeover artist where I teach beautiful soulful women just like you how to become your own intuitive healer now today we have a general reading which is all about the new moon that is occurring in Sagittarius on December 17th or 18th depending on where you are in the world now if you are new then this is general so just take what comes into your subconscious at the end of your reading and that's your divine message now in regards to the full moon that we just had in Gemini holy flip that was all around a heart chakra blockage I totally felt that and I was actually able to release that and I noticed that my heart chakra blockage was something that I had been holding on to for three flipping years which was crazy I actually did a meditation um, I just laid down one morning because I was I was just like this is not good I don't feel very well um, and so I just laid down and my angels guided me into a cord cutting meditation and I was like I've heard about people doing that before but never really knew how to do it it just kind of happened and it was such an emotional release holy heck it's so incredible if you follow me on Instagram you would have already um, seen my Instagram live where I literally spoke to you just after it happened so powerful and I'm actually thinking of creating a meditation for you on the cord cutting because it was just so powerful and it is so beautiful to just release something that no longer serves you but I will talk more about that in my um, next law of attraction success story update will be my 10 month update holy flip all right so let's get into today's reading it's just a general reading all right so this is my angel oracle deck from Doreen Virtue so angels, can I have clarity for my beautiful MK Love fam for the new moon in Sagittarius, December 17th or 18th? Can you see that? Yeah. One card for clarity. I just pushed it back in, damn it. Okay, can you fall out? I missed, oh, there we go, thank you. Ooh, cleanse and detoxify. This is a beautiful card. This is like cleansing and detoxifying your body, your mind, and your soul. I think of the mind more so because as I was laying down to meditate to prepare for this reading, I felt a headache um, coming on and I could just feel like angels going like this, like giving, I'm gonna put my arms up too high, I haven't shaved in my armpits. Like they, ha um, like giving me a massage to just like, release it and just showing like nurturing guidance and and that help is around so let me read this one with great love and respect we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body at your request will help you to develop life affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sh any sorrow at shedding your old ways who Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. It's like the angels are asking you to, you know, cleanse and detoxify your body, mind, and soul. So you can literally step into your power in 2018, put on your big girl boots and stretch down the street and you'd be like, I'm amazing. I am where I am and it's okay, you know? And he's just um, say, I forgive myself and I set myself free. It's just like, step into your power a fabulous way that you can cleanse and detoxify your mind is by purchasing my forgiveness heals guided visualization it's a 30 minute audio that i created on my shop please take advantage of the price because it is currently five dollars 55 that's australian dollars but come january 1 i'm going to increase that to nine dollars 99 that is so powerful and i highly recommend if you are at the stage where you are actually wanting to step into 18 and make it the best year ever I I can't recommend that enough Wow cleanse and detoxify we haven't pulled that card in like six or seven months even more all right angels can we have clarity please for cleanse and detoxify whoa Jesus that flew across the room okay two cards actually came across but the first one that oh my god came was relationship and then the heart chakra. Okay, so the angels are saying that we still need a little bit more time going through and cleansing and detoxifying. Okay, relationship, what comes up for you? What is it, this a person, is this a family member? Oh, this is probably about my sister now. Or oh, my dad. 
so interesting. It's like there's there's so many matters that we have been holding on to, and it's like I release you and I set myself free. And you know, <laughs> there's always work to be done. And the angels is like, okay, focus on the relationship that you need to cleanse and detoxify. This is a matter relating to the heart chakra. This is so interesting. Th those cards just fell out. So in regards to um, the relationship, the re relationships are so paramount in our life. This could be a relationship with your landlord, your partner, your boss, your best friend. If you're trying to manifest new people into your life or I just read for someone the other day, she was so beautiful and she was in a relationship, but she wasn't playing the leading role. She wasn't being the leading lady of her own life. She was playing like the best friend. And um, it was so interesting because I loved, oh, she was just so beautiful to read for. And, you know, that was about a relationship that no longer served her. And <laughs> it's time to cleanse and detoxify. It's like, you need to clean up your vibration. If you want to be this beautiful, powerful woman, or men, I, Justin, I know you watch my channel. <laughs> um, then this is all about, you know, cleaning up the vibration. So you were in a state of allowing. So when 2018 rolls around, you'll be like, I'm amazing. And you, and you feel that power. It's like, oh, I'm so excited for you guys, but it does require a lot of work. So forgiveness practice, releasing blockages. If you don't want to invest in your um, forgiveness heal, if you're not really at that stage yet and you're still in the angry stage, check out my, um, three letter writing techniques in release blockages in that playlist on my channel. I uh, talk about three different letter writing techniques that could help you. Um, but if you're really ready to step into your power, purchase the forgiveness heels. My God. Yes, guys. I don't think I've had the heart chakra come up two readings in a row for you. So there's still work to be done. It's like, okay, you may have healed this blockage, but there's another one that we need to clean up as well. It's kind of like not starting anything new. I don't feel like, well, cleansing and detoxifying isn't starting new. So it's like preparing yourself for the new year. Wow. Okay. I love these readings. I just love them so much. Okay. This is the Archangel Raphael healing deck from Doreen Virtue. Let's have clarity angels on cleanse and detoxify relationship and heart chakra for my beautiful MK love fam. Great, this is great. Oh, okay, I'll stop talking. Oh. Okay, there we go. Thank you very much. Ooh, diet is important here. This has come up a lot for private readings too, for those people I read for this week. I think nearly every single person that I read for this week, it came up with, um, yeah clean up your diet because this is so important because the food that you eat has an energy. So if you're eating life affirming foods, AKA plants in their most natural state, you are taking on that high vibration and you are literally becoming it. That's why they say you are what you, you eat. If you're eating processed foods, dairy, animals, you are taking on that energy. So if you think about um, an animal before it's slaughtered, it is absolutely scared to death. If you watch documentaries of that, like Cowspiracy, Earthlings, Forks Over Knives, Food Inc., all of those ones shows, and uh, uh, yeah, I said Earthlings, shows footage of animals just before they're about to be slaughtered. And they release a hormone, I can't remember what it's called, um, which is then released into the food that you eat. It's just it's so messed up. Do some research around that. I'm not gonna, yeah. That's all I'm going to say because some of you may be like, oh my God, no, I'm not becoming vegan. I'm not saying for you to come become vegan. I'm just saying start cleaning and detoxifying your diet because it is, once you do that, it's going to pay massive dividends on your self-love journey. And the angels are saying you need to pay particular attention to it. So if you're an emotional eater, what are you gravitating for when you become stressed? You need to start switching that around until you grab hold of that and... Yeah, that's why the self-love practices are so important. 
So I'll read this one for you here. It says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for guiding me to make positive eating and drinking choices and for reducing or eliminating my cravings to unhealthful substances. Can you see that that is literally full of high vibrational foods? So many berries in there. It's like the colors of the rainbow, really. Okay, I don't really need to say much more than that. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, can we have clarity on cleanse and detoxify relationship, heart chakra, and diet is important for my beautiful MK Love fam. I feel like I need to talk. I'm really talking really fast. One card, please, angels. Clarity on my beautiful MK Love fam. The most beautiful fam in the world. Oh, thank you. Oh, we got two. I'm going to say the first one that I saw. Divine intervention. I think last reading was around getting a second opinion and something to do with... I wonder if I can find my MK Love fam that wrote notes. I saved it on my computer. Whoever did that, I flipping love you. Thank you for doing that. Um... Oh, maybe I saved it. Maybe it's still on my phone. Damn it. Okay. But I'm pretty sure there was two things to do with like getting a second opinion. Um, yeah. Let me read this prayer for you because this, this may not apply to all of you because it's just a general reading, but just see what comes up. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for being with, insert the name of the person, and for helping with blah, blah, blah. I have faith in divine intervention and I fully accept your guidance now. Divine intervention, like I know this picture is, is literally showcasing like surgery and the angels are coming in to help, but this is like divine intervention as in like maybe the angels are going to cut you off from a job because you're not listening to what is going on around you and you know... <laughs> Like your emotions are the perfect indicator to let you know if this is right for you or if it's not. And if you're miserable and if you're frustrated and you just hate the people that you're working with, or hate's a really strong word, you don't really like the people that you're surrounded with, sometimes what the angels do, which they have done to me in the past, cut off employment. And I was like, <gasps> what? But it was so interesting. In that moment when it happened, I heard my angels speak to me and they said, this is the time to write your ebook. That was like three years ago. It was so weird. I remember having the conversation on the phone they were like it was yesterday. And they were like, it's like they were whispering in my ear. I was like, Mel, this is the time you can write your ebook. Because I was working so much and I was like, how am I ever gonna launch a business doing this, 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 and this? And so pay attention to these signs. That is an interesting one. Let me read this prayer again, okay? Or oh, actually, you want to screenshot it? Focus, my love. Okay. So, I'll read it again. Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for being with such and such and for helping with blank. I have faith in divine intervention and I fully accept your guidance now. Let's say that together. I have faith in divine intervention and I fully accept your guidance now. The angels always, always, always lead you to your highest good. They don't put you in a situation to make you suffer. They put you in this in a situation so you can learn, you can grow, and you can evolve. And what's really crazy when that happens, you're like, why is this happening? But you, you need to just surrender to the process and it will set yourself free. As soon as you surrender, <laughs> I'm getting really good at doing this. As soon as you surrender, it's like you stop paddling upstream and you just allow your boat to turn around and to just go with the flow of the rapids. It's like you don't want to you don't want to be struggling anymore. So whatever the struggle is that you are going through, obviously it could be a relationship or whatever, the angels are going to help you resolve it. Um, but they're asking that you do some work too and help to cleanse and detoxify however that could work either like a forgiveness, healing, guided visualization that I've created, releasing your blockages, literally doing things that you love that makes you feel amazing. I love readings. I love them so much. All right, let's move on. This is the numerology guidance deck from Michelle Buchanan. This deck is fabulous. Um, 
it gives you quick and very direct answers and there's no faffing about so you can't really misinterpret something so i love this to kind of clarify if i'm on the right path and my angels usually give me goosebumps um yeah oh by the way do you guys like my new hair i totally got so i got like this much chopped off and it's a little bit darker anyways i'll tell you more about that in my success story Angels, clarity please for my MK Love fam for the new moon in Sagitt. Did that thing drop? I think. No? It did. Ah! Oh my god! I was like, I heard something drop, but I couldn't find it. <gasps> Personal growth! Yes, 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 yes! Oh, this is so beautiful. It's. Okay, so as you're cleansing and you're detoxifying and you're sending love to the situation that has literally like pissed you off for however many years or has caused you so much harm and you're just like, I don't want to feel like this anymore and you're cleansing and detoxifying, this is going to give you an opportunity to grow and to reach that infinite love and potential and to put you on your self-love makeover and to literally put you in your power for 2018. Like that is so pretty. Oh my God. My heart is beating so fast. I'm so excited. You can't get any better than personal growth. You know, I could literally say, okay, you should do this and you should do that and you should do that. But if you are not going to do the work, you are not going to grow as a person. And for every single one of you beautiful, firm, I just want to like, you know, I am so proud of you for doing the work. If you, you know who I'm talking to because you comment all the time. You private message me on Instagram. You send me little videos of what you're doing and you're like, Mel, look what I'm doing. I'm literally going for a walk today after you've been on the couch for like a week. I am so proud of you. So just keep doing those things because they are literally taking you to where your angels know that you are destined to bloom. And you're going to bloom in 2018. If you've been doing the work in 2017, holy flipping heck, you are going to bloom. I can guarantee you that. Goosebumps. Okay. Yes. Yes! Oh my god! Okay, you're flipping out. Oh, we got domestic harmony. Okay, so, okay, so this is kind of just saying that this issue here, the heart chakra and the relationship issue that has been going on, will be restored with domestic harmony harmony because you are doing your self-love practices you are eating high vibrational foods because they're saying you know diet is important here and sometimes the angels are going to intervene to like put you on the right track i can't remember i'm not I'm, i don't know very much about astrology i'm not an astrologist but i would love to to be you know i don't know i'm very interested in it um i can't remember what is what planetary movement is or whatever but i read something the other day actually i heard something the other day from lada from astrolada.com flipping worship the ground she walks on and she has the same birthday as me which is even better she was saying that we're in the season where if you've been working hard and your work has been unnoticed the universe is going to reward you this personal growth card for the work that you have been putting in. There's a planet that rewards the work that you've been putting in that most people haven't really been acknowledging or you haven't seen dramatic results. So if you've been, I know a lot of you are entrepreneurs, are in soulful spiritual businesses, which is amazing because I love reading for you and your businesses. Um, a lot of you are, you know, putting in the work, trying to build your business, but you're not seeing the results yet, but you know they're coming and you can feel it. And I can definitely feel that vibration and deliciousness coming in 2018. Where the heck was I going? Oh yeah, and then the angels, or the universe, the planets, that's probably the better way to say it, the planets are aligned at the stage to, I see a, a cash register, like cha-ching, like the till opens and you take the money out. Um, money is in like, abundance in whatever form, it could be prosperity, it could be friends, it could be family, a new domestic harmony with your relationships. Yeah, it's like you're all getting your Christmas presents if you believe in Christmas or, you know, you're all, uh, I think cashing in is such a cheap way to say it. I can't think of a better way, but you get my drift, okay? Yes! Oh my God! Also, I was thinking that I should do one of these readings live for you guys. How do you feel about that? I'm going to put a poll, which way is it? This way, on the side and... 
Would you like this next reading, which would be like the full moon and whatever, I don't even know right now. Would you like that to be live? Because that's something I've been thinking about. And I kind of wanted to take off the end of December to just, just be and reflect and allow the, my angels to give me all these cosmic downloads. I feel like I would like to do that. Well, maybe that's in 2018. I'm not sure. But let's just see how we go. Okay, let's move on to the final deck, the biggest and the fattest deck ever. This is the Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue. Also, I'm manifesting new decks. And my beautiful friend, Jo, she actually created a mini moon deck. She's um, from the moon underscore journal. I gave her a couple of shout outs in my videos recently because I just, I don't give many shout outs, but I give shout outs to people that I truly worship the ground they walk on because, you know, I've built such a big community of high vibrational souls. You, my beautiful MK love fam, and I don't want to introduce you to anything that I don't love. You know, I, everything I show to you is something that I literally love, 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 love. And I love Jo and she's beautiful. Anyway, what I was saying is she's created a mini moon deck, which is helping me work out how to, what to do in different phases of the moon cycle. Um, I actually mentioned this over on our Instagram live earlier this week too. Um, but we'll talk more about that when I receive her cards. So I'll be able to show you in the next success story, hopefully. Jo, if you're watching, I love you. I'm so proud of you. Well, all these cards are flipping out. All right, I'll stop talking. One card, please, for clarity for my my angels. My, well, you guys are my angels, but... Okay, can you see that one? This one. Cool. Don't give up. Yes. Oh, is that the... What's that song? Well, let me just show you. You are fierce, guys. You are fierce. You've got like dragons all around you, like holding your, I don't know what the heck that is, but don't give up. Protect what you've created, have courage and believe in yourself, which I think this is like the personal growth card. And what I spoke about before is that the planets are going to reward you for the work that you have done this year. So don't give up. If you don't see the fruits of your labor just yet, it is on its way. What is that? I can't think of, I can hear a song, but I can't hear hear it clearly don't give up I'm gonna type it into Google YouTube um, I've just got Ralph smart on my computer just raising my vibration before I do this reading um, don't give up I'm just literally typing this in YouTube and see what's the first song that comes up the greatest seer let me just play a second of it I can't play too much because YouTube will flag my video and I won't get monetization for it the greatest I'm gonna leave it there I'm gonna leave that on my computer and just find the lyrics because I can't play too much if I pay more than 30 seconds and they just the um, Sears music company gets the money that I make from this video crazy huh well, that's really good. I feel like there's more to be told though. That's not the end of the story. Okay, so we've got all these ones standing up. Oh my God, the sun. The sun will come out tomorrow. Bet you, I don't know the flipping words tomorrow. Da, da, da. Happy outcome, brilliant new ideas that lead to success, have confidence in yourself. It's kind of this, these two are basically the same. Oh, I need to learn lyrics. I am learning lyrics. But I need to change my, my um, self-talk around that one, definitely. Um, that was from Annie, wasn't it? I just got my laptop on the side. Hope you don't mind, guys. Um, the sun will come out tomorrow. I'm just going to pull up the lyrics without playing it so then I can read it. Um, when I'm stuck in a day that's grey and lonely, I just stick out my chin and grin and say, the sun will come out tomorrow, so you gotta hang on to tomorrow, come what may, tomorrow, 
tomorrow. I love you tomorrow. You're only a day away. And then an airplane just goes over the top. I think that's it. I think that's all. I think that's all we need. Let's just recap, okay? Hmm. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. I feel this is going to be such a fabulous end to 2017 because I know there's a lot of you who have been following me for years and you've seen the massive transformation that I've been going through and I want to hear more about how you guys are doing. So please keep me updated on Instagram. I respond to every single person that private messages me and I actually love hearing from you. Um, so I know that you guys are not just like a number of on my view count or a number of my subscribers. I love knowing <clears throat> that you guys are real. <laughs> Does that make sense? I think that's why I started getting addicted to doing Instagram lives. When I just see your faces come up and you're like, hi Mel, and you're like, I'm from such and such. Like that's just, ooh, there's a van outside. And it's all kitted up too. Oh my gosh, I just sold my car this week and Peter and I are, are manifesting a van ASAP because we're currently catching the bus right now. Um, okay, so <laughs> let's have a look. You wanna screenshot these, then you're more than welcome. So cleanse and detoxify anything that is not in alignment with your true authentic self. This could be in regards to a relationship that basically targets the heart chakra. A way that you can release that is by um, going through my forgiveness heals, guided visualization on my shop, listening to my release blockages playlist on YouTube, um, by eating high vibrational foods, foods that make you feel absolutely amazing. And just letting you know that divine intervention may have to take its effect if you are not aware of the signs around you. So there could be some sudden endings of something, but just pay attention and let you know that the angels are divinely orchestrating this situation. If you have been working super duper hard on your self-love practices this year, then this is a wonderful time for personal growth and development for you beautiful souls. Domestic harmony will be restored within this relationship once you heal the blockage and just say, I am where I am and it's okay. I release you and I set myself free. What was this one again? Don't give up. Oh, I have to try and work out what that song is in my head. I can't really piece it together. Don't give up. You guys are on the right track and you will find the, the gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> and it's a happy, beautiful outcome. Like you have, you are a major arcana, you know, and you've got sunflowers around, my favorite. You're on a rock. It's like a scene from, um, I think it from like a scene from The Lion King when they put Simba up. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Have confidence in yourself. I know a lot of you lack confidence. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my loves. Please comment down below. Let me know what is going on for you. I will be responding within the first hour from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Actually, no, I'll go from 6.30 to 7.30 because this video takes half an hour. Um, yeah, and if any of you, I miss your comments and I'll respond to you the next time I upload a video because I always respond to comments now. Well, I'm trying to train you guys that I respond to questions for the first hour after a video is made live. So that's on Tuesdays, and no, Wednesdays and Sundays at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Oh my gosh, so much delicious goodness. I'm so proud of you for exactly where you are. So to sum up, if you need help and you want to take your self-love makeover to the next level, Purchase my Forgiveness Heals Guide of Visualization. It's $5.55. Take advantage of that price before it raises on um, January the 1st. Listen to my Forgiveness, oh no, not Forgiveness Heals, Release Blockages playlist on YouTube. The three thumbnails with the letter writing, like a stationary, that is highly imperative. And you haven't already jumped onto my mailing list, I highly recommend you do that because I actually give you a free self-love starter kit. It's got three fabulous strategies and tools that I teach you. So much delicious goodness. It is, <laughs> if I was to sell that, it would cost quite a lot of money, but I was like, okay, this is the starter kit. I'm gonna get you started and then we see how you progress on your journey. Make sure you're following me on Instagram too because I will be announcing some fabulous stuff over there soon and that's where I'm going live these days. And 
I love you, I love you, I love you. Send so much love to that situation that has caused you pain so you can release the final part of that heart chakra blockage so you can step into your power in 2018. And if you need more clarity and guidance and you want to, um, if you're having trouble listening to your intuition, book yourself a private spiritual reading. I actually have um, four spots avail available for next week. So if that floats your boat, then book away. All right, guys, I love you. And I will see you next episode. Okay, goodbye.